drop a year into the city of Tacoma's violent crime reduction plan. Officials say it's working, but data shows a different story. Today, Tacoma Police Chief Avery Moore presented recent findings to the city council. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janabel live outside City Hall. And A.J., you spoke with city leaders who are running this city of Tacoma, including the chief. What do they have to say? Dave, let's talk about this violent crime reduction plan. It's focusing on some crime hotspots. And in those areas, the number does show in some instances crime is down. But Tacoma is coming out of what has been its deadliest year on record. So I asked city officials how both of these statements can be true. Homicides in Tacoma, an issue growing for years. In 2002, the city of Destiny saw 45 deadly incidents. So far this year, there has been five. Crime is not out of control in this city. I study crime every day, um, every day in this city, and I'm proud to say we have made a reduction. Tacoma Police Chief Avery Moore presenting to City Council Tuesday results from the last six months of the department's violent crime reduction plan. The plan defines violent crime by murder, robbery, and aggravated assault, and focuses on about 15 high crime hotspots. Places like Hosmer Street, which became synonymous for violence over the last few months. According to the presentation, violent crime incidents fell 36%. Recent numbers do show crime is down in a lot of areas. But for the community, it's a hard pill to swallow with continual reports of deadly incidents in their city. I think what people look at when they think about violent crime is only homicides. And so when we look at the number of homicides in our community, you know, news would report we had the highest homicide rate in 2022 that we've ever had. I asked Tacoma City Manager Elizabeth Pauley about moving forward. I'm feeling challenged um, because as, as the chief said, policing and the issues of crime are way broader than the crime plan. The crime plan is one element of the pl of one tool and one element of our total approach to crime and and we still do have an issue in the community when there are juveniles being killed when there are individuals who don't feel safe city officials tell me officers will continue to crack down on problem spots through the violent crime reduction plan as well as provide normal policing but the change to common needs will have to also come from outside city hall from the people who call this place home. What we have to remember is the mental health of our community after what has happened over the last couple years. Um, the, the, the despair feeling of people who, who live in our community, um, the loss of hope um, that people are having who live in our community. I think, again, not making excuses, but we've got to factor all of that into what's happening right now. David, Jamie, another thing needed to crack down on crime is resources. And for the last few years, the city of Tacoma has struggled with its staffing numbers with the police department. Today, getting a chance to speak with Chief Moore about their current numbers, he tells me they are closing the gap. But as of right now, they are still down about 35 to 37 uniform officers. Reporting live in Tacoma, I'm A.J. Janabel for Fox 13 News.